Hello everybody, it's Major.or Shane here, and today we are going to be starting up our Cheat Engine Tutorial Episode 5. Now this will be the last episode in our Cheat Engine Tutorial Basic Series. Next time we will be looking at more advanced things and how you can increase your uh, Cheat Engine skills far better. Or make your Cheat Engine skills far better. So. How you're going to create your cheat engine table is you're going to go up here and you're going to click this generate generic trainer Lewis script script from table. And this is going to pop this up where you can get started on working on your trainer. Now this is your trainer while well, this is the editor. So personally I don't use uh, the picture so I just like to push that aside. I find that using this button right here actually glitches it out a little bit and I find it that I don't like using it that much. I also like to set the width and the height before I actually uh, finish the trainer because I also like to check this button before I finish. Alright so some of the things here is the first one is pop up trainer and key press for example F1. Whenever you click F1, the trainer will pop up and it will be the top thing and most likely, I think, will be selected. Now you can also name your trainer. As you can see in the corner, it has now been named. And down here you can add a little description. Alright, next is the icon. You can create an icon simply by getting a .ico file. I happen to have one right here. As you can see, it has changed the icon to that. Next thing is music file. If you have a mod music file, you can go ahead and use that to add music to the background. And that opens up this to where you can stop the music whenever the trainer loses focus or whenever the game has been attached. You can also play sounds on activation or deactivation of cheats. And you can also set the freeze interval. The final thing that I would like to show you guys is the direct 3D hook. And this is mainly for whenever you have... Um, mainly for whenever you have a 3D game. Well, not 3D, but full screen. Alright, so the next thing is the hotkeys. So when working with hotkeys, I have two doubles, two four bytes, and one script. So, oh, my bad, need to name these. This one is in game cache, and this one is. XP. Okay, so the first thing I would like to know is um, is the script. And our script is this one right here. So now you need to figure out what buttons you want to attach your cheats to. Personally, I feel like the numpad is the easiest and best place to attach cheats. So I'm going to do numpad 0. And this will just simply toggle the script and now it will say 50 agents on purchase. After first purchase only. There we go. So I'm going to apply that and click OK. And now I can stretch this out to show the entire description. And now if we hit numpad 0, once uh, it's finished, it will actually toggle this cheat. As you can see, it's actually toggling it right there. So that's pretty cool. So now the next one is our monkey cache. And we're going to do three on this one. The first one is going to be freeze monkey cache. And this is done by doing a toggle freeze on the 
monkey cash pointer. The next one is going to be degree, de increase actually, increase value width. This one's going to be numeric two. And we are going to increase the value by 500 and we are going to say plus 500 monkey cash. There we go. And the final one is the easiest. We are just going to go decrease value width, set it to hot key number three. 500 and the description we're just going to change this plus to a minus just like that and then we hit OK and all three of them pop up and now we're just going to keep on doing this for every single one And now we've come to a point where we've run out of we've run out of uh, buttons to press, but you can actually do control and then the button, and that will start doing it that way. Or you can even do shift or alt. So I'm going to finish it off right here. This one is XP free. And there we go. There is a simple trainer created as easily as that. So now if we go over to generate trainer, we can actually choose, do you want the script, the exe, the cg trainer, or just the cg? Now, personally, I feel that exe is the easiest because not everybody will have a, uh, not everybody will have the ability to have cheat engine. So let's go ahead and name this now. Um, actually, let's go ahead and count up how many cheats. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is a trainer with plus 14. That means that there's 14 different things that you can do on this trainer. So let's give this the name. There we go, just like that. So you're gonna choose gigantic, you're gonna choose target process 32-bit, and unless you're using a script that uses something like speed hack or the debuggers, or you need something like that exact, then you shouldn't really need to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and find this again. There you go, it's just gonna do that. Uh, can I get a good picture? No, it's not gonna let me, okay. So, if you need to add any extra files, then you can add them in here. But if you're done and you think that that's all the files you're gonna need, you can go ahead and hit generate. And there we go you have now created your cheat engine trainer. So if we close, you can see that music is going to play until we start up this game. And as soon as it finds the game and it connects the game, it immediately stops the music to tell the user that they have connected the game and that they don't have to worry about connection. So now we can go ahead and test our cheat engine and make sure it works. So the most obvious thing that we can do is first to test off our money. So we can go ahead and hit numeric two, which should give us some monkey cash, and there it did it. So now we have that monkey cash, we can go ahead and hit zero, 
which will toggle that, and if we buy it twice, we'll start getting them at 50s. Okay, now what about going down some? I want to lose some monkey cash. So now let's check, and that actually brought us up to the max level just like that. All right, so now what about our tokens? Well, we only have zero tokens, so if we go negative uh, minus 10, we should also get the maximum number of tokens, and there we did that as well. All right, so what's next is our XP. We can do uh, control one, and that'll give us around 5,000 XP, I think. Yep. And we can go ahead and hop into a game to see it in action. So let's drag him out. There we go. And within a few seconds, we're already rank uh, three. I mean, rank 11, my bad. And if we go ahead and do the set experience, we can immediately jump up to rank 89. Now, I do want to test something with both the in-game money and the experience before we finish this off. And I want to see if you can get max level in a few seconds by just subtracting 5,000 uh, XP. So we're going to do control numeric two and we have minus five thousand no so it's just going to keep on doing that well if you do it enough times eventually you'll reach there but i'm not sure which way it'd be easier to go Anyways, next one is the in-game monkey cash. So if we go numeric nine, oh, they got negative money worked out pretty well. But if we go neg if we go uh, numeric eight, then we're able to start adding money, and we're able to add as much money as we want. A little bit of lag is due to me uh, changing values so much so fast. But as you can see, everything is working. The trainer that we just made in this few seconds is already working. So that's how you make a trainer. Super easy. And I hope you guys learned something. I really can't wait until we start up the uh, next Cheat Engine series. Because that's whenever we can start getting into the coding and all that fun stuff.